Well, thank you. We, we mentioned earlier that we were dedicating tonight to uh, the memory of the late great Link Ray, who's in a documentary about American Indians in rock and roll called Rumble. The documentary is named after his instrumental that went to number one and was actually banned in New Jersey. Oh, God. <laughs> but uh, it came out around the same time as West Side Story, and people were afraid his song was going to make teenagers join gangs and riot. Yeah. Mm. Go figure. Well, I had the great honor and opportunity to play with Link Ray on a couple of tours in California, and we got to be friends. He was an amazingly humble man, and uh, we were talking one night about Rumble, and he said that they were doing a dance, and it was the stroll. And Link really didn't hang out with teenagers too much, you know, he was kind of a side man playing guitar for other people, but he had his own band. And his brother leaned over and he said, Link, they want a stroll, they want a stroll. And he goes, well, what's the stroll? Well, it's in six, eight time. So his brother just started playing the beat on the drums, and he said, and Rumble just came into my head. Wow. And it became a, a number one hit for him. And his family, when they released the record, they put his dad and his brother's names on the record as the writers of the song. This happens a lot, but rarely does it happen within a family. So Link didn't get any money. His father and his brother got the money for that song. And so we were sitting there, and I thought, after all these years, you know, he, he isn't bitter about that. And I said, a number one record, and you didn't get the money. And he goes, no. He says, but it's okay. They're dead, and I'm still alive. <laughs> and uh, so I got to hang out backstage in San Francisco with him. We played bimbos. And he had already told the management that no one was allowed backstage because uh, he said there are too many weirdos in San Francisco. And he said, except for Tony. Tony can come backstage. So after the show, I go back there, and it's just me and Link Ray, just the two of us. And we're sitting there, and we're talking about guitars, and he's autographing everything I can find. And he was all sweaty, and I had an extra T-shirt, and he put that on, and he was grateful. And I told him, I said, you know, my mom turned me on to you. And he goes, your mother likes my music? How old is she? And I said, well, she's in her 80s. And uh, he said, I, that's hard to believe. And I said, well, she's here. He said, what? She drove all the way up here by herself from Santa Barbara to see you play. Wow. Wow. That's cool. And he talked to this big bouncer. He said, go find his mom. Bring her back. <laughs> now, this is where it turns into a Seinfeld lines. <laughs> Because my mother is rather outspoken and doesn't have much in the way of social filters. So she comes back there, little lady with her curly hair and her cardigan sweater on, and Link's all beam and he goes, so you're Tony's mom. And he puts his hand out. And she goes, so you're Link Ray. And he goes, I am. And she said, I just have one thing to say to you. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, what's that? She goes, if you keep practicing, you'll be as good as my son. <laughs> right out of Seinfeld. <laughs> and he, he did the double take. He looked at her, then he looked at me, and he just said, Your mom's in your corner. I really like that. He goes, Sit down, Georgie. And they sat in the <laughs> So we're going to do uh, Lake Race too. He didn't get the money. But boy, it's kind of, the real sad thing is that I wish he was alive to see all of the press he's getting now. It's just, it's just kind of heartbreaking that when he could walk down the street and barely buy a gig in this country, and now look at him. So, so we're going to send this one out to Lee.